this is for Alexis. Uh, what did this game mean to you? I know you were there last year, and I know you wanted a, a chance to play for Kim, but what did it mean to put 30 on them and, and play the way you did tonight, today? I think it's every transfer's dream. It was a personal game. Coach Moki had been challenging me all week to step up and be the player that she knew I could be. Um, it meant a lot to me. Um, as you know, I averaged nine minutes last year at A&M, and I'm here with my coach averaging 40. So I made the best of it. Kim, would you talk about the struggles? It looked like y'all were having trouble getting the ball inside and scoring inside, and then it, you finally kind of broke it open in the fourth quarter. Well, this knucklehead right here finally woke up in the fourth quarter, thank God. Um, but, you know, that's, that's the game. It's a game of runs. We were grinding it out. I didn't think that we won, got the ball to the post at the right time. We had some looks in there where we were posting up on the middle guy. I thought transition offense was not very good. We couldn't finish. We would either run over somebody, throw it away, take a jump shot instead of a layup. It got better in the second half. We don't even have to talk about free throws. I just fired the free throw coach. So, you know, that, that coach will be looking for a new job. No, I'm teasing. Um, it's, you just grind it out. I mean, guys, this is not – this is going to be the way it is. I mean, it's the SEC, and, and you've got a lot of good players, a lot of good coaches and teams. Uh, I thought rebounding was key when we were not able to make shots and we were kind of struggling. I just thought that um, – Maybe two or three possessions did we give up an offensive board. Um, but I thought, you know, the crowd got into it. They helped us get over the hump. Um, yeah, happy for this one. I mean, when you, when you leave a program, you're going to do one of two things when you play them. You're going to be awful or you're going to be really, really good. And I told her that yesterday in practice. And she was really, really good. She didn't try to do too much. She took what they gave her. Jalen, talk about your fourth quarter. Things kind of opened up for you. You were looked like you were running off the point, too. Um, mm -hmm. How did that go for you? Um, I just knew I had to do something to help my team. Um, points weren't coming for me in the first quarter. I was down on myself, but I shook everything off and got back with to what the team needed me to do. And I know Lex was hitting threes, KP was hitting threes. They was all just scoring. So I took into the role of kind of facilitating until I got going. So, Coach, um, they entered, entered the game shooting over 40% for the year from three. Um, great backcourt players. Uh, just what did you see from y'all's defense and how y'all defended the three and how y'all defended their backcourt? Well, defending the three has not been something <laughs> – I shouldn't say that. The Florida Gulf Coast game made us look really bad defending the three. And so our percentages, if you look at stats, it's, it, we're struggling if you just look at that. But it goes back to that Florida Gulf Coast team. I thought today we, we did a better job of getting under and up screens. Several times we got hung up on screens and they exposed our post play. Uh, but those three guys can, can shoot it with the best in the country. I'll say this, our speed and our quickness and our hands, we have quick hands, will always allow us to be able to defend people no matter what their size is on the three. It's, you know, just – Size doesn't bother us on the perimeter because of the speed and quickness. But I thought we did a, a, a pretty decent job. I really did. Yeah, Kim, uh, Alexis had half your points in the second half, 23 of y'all's 46. What did, did it mean for you to watch her do that, knowing your history with her, that you gave her a second chance, and just watching her, I guess, become the player and maybe person you always wanted to see her become? Well, you're proud. Um, it's life's lessons, not only uh, winning a ball game or doing good. The life lesson that she has taught young people out there has nothing to do with points. The life lesson is when a kid is dismissed from a program, what do they always want to do? Blame they want to the blame the coach. Lex never blamed the coach. Lex knew she put me in a bind, and I hurt because I loved that kid, still love her, loved her when she left. But you have to make decisions that are for bigger purposes, that locker room. And didn't talk to her for, you know, years. when She went to Rutgers and then showed up at A&M, and I took the LSU job, and she basically is like, I'm not taking no for an answer. I need you in my life. 
So now she gets to write the end of her college career, and it has nothing to do with points. She gets to teach a lesson to young people that sometimes it's look at yourself in the mirror and grow up and be held accountable. That, far, that means far more to me than any 30 points she hit against A&M. Yeah, I'm sorry. Now, the happiest person in the, in the arena today, I would think, is her mama. <laughs> her mama's probably still up there in those Bob Euchre seats screaming and hollering. So, you know, it's good for mamas and, and families to see their kids do well. Um, this goes for both the players. Just what was it like playing against their zone um, and just kind of how, how soft they were, as, not soft as in uh, physicality, but just in how they were playing on the perimeter. Just what was that like for you? Well, I would say for me, they was more sagging off into the fourth quarter. So, I mean, we do have to get better at a 2-3 zone and um, knocking out shots, but in the fourth quarter, I think we handled it pretty well and we started hitting. So, I think we just started off slow. Um, Slow, making slow reads, um, wasn't penetrating the zone. It's the only way you'll beat the zone. You got to penetrate the gaps and, you know, mm -hmm. get, in, get into the middle of a zone. I feel like we weren't doing it. So we started hitting some outside shots and it started opening up for us. Um, it was kind of tough, but we made it tough. Yeah. <clears throat> Any more questions? It's for Alexis. When you made the decision to transfer, I mean, when you saw the news Kim was at LSU, did it immediately in your head go, I've got to go play for her? No brainer. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, when I left A&M, I didn't have a destination in mind. I was in a bad mental place. I was just, I just didn't know where I was going to go in life. I was just so mentally over it at the time. I didn't have no direction. Um, but I was bold enough to, you know, Call coach. I was like, I want to play with you. Ever since I left, I always wanted to play for her. So. I've been with this kid since seventh grade. Yeah. You know? I'm um, so glad you came to play. <laughs> <laughs> this, kid, this kid grew up around our program at Baylor and, you know, just watched her and signed. She committed at a young age, and, uh, and she can write the ending to her college career. But the story that needs to be told is – She's held herself accountable. She, you know, she's gotten so much grief. Why are you going to go play for that lady? She kicked you off at Baylor. And she's like, that lady didn't kick me off. I did it to myself. You know, who says that nowadays? That's the story that needs to be written. So young people and parents, young people and parents can just go, wow, wow. Guys, happy new year. Yeah, happy new year. Happy new year. <laughs>